How I wrote the theme music for a TV show. So I'm going to break this video into two parts. In the first, I'll talk about how I got into the position to be able to write the music for the program. And in the second part, I'm going to open up the Pro Tools session and track by track go through how I actually built this piece of music. So the TV show we're talking about here is called Travel with Didier. It's an international program that covers the topics of history and culture, art, cuisine, adventure, and even accommodations. Each episode takes place in a different city, so you can kind of get a sense of what it feels like to visit that location. So before we get any further, I'm going to show you a 30 second promo of the program so you can get a sense of what it feels like and of course, hear the music that I'm talking about. Check it out. There is a purpose upon us to seek, discover, and learn. Explore traditions and cultures while enriching our own. To dance in the intersection of talent and passion. Be nourished by the Earth's bounty. To value the experience of nature on its own terms. And continue to be inspired by the small things and little ones. Here, the destination is the experience. Okay, so how did this all come about? Full disclosure, Didier, the host of the program, and her husband Christopher have been close friends of mine for many years. Christopher is even my bandmate and songwriting partner. So when Didier decided to create her own program, she came to me and asked for my assistance with music, sound design, audio post, music supervision, all of the stuff in that world. And I said, absolutely, I would love to help in any way that I can. So her first program was At Home with Didier, which we did two seasons of, and I assisted with all of the audio side of that. When it came to her creating Travel with Didier, we knew that we wanted a different energy, a different theme, a different brand, a different graphics package. It all needed to have a new feel to it because it was travel oriented. So I had a leg up because this season took place in Australia and New Zealand. I was fortunate enough to be a part of that production crew and experienced every segment that was filmed. So when we returned from filming, I had great fresh energy of where this show was going and what it could be based on all of the experiences that we had as a collective. So it gave me a great perspective for writing this piece of music. So let's get into it. How did this come about? Okay, so now I have Pro Tools open and we can get into it. But first things first, when it comes to composing a track like this, the real question is, of course, what's it gonna sound like? What's the genre? What's the arrangement? What's the instrumentation? Well, for me, with episodes taking place in Australia, New Zealand, and Hawaii, I realize there's a lot of culture there. So I want something that reflects that. It should be acoustic, it should be rustic, it should have some ethnic elements to it. On the flip side of that coin, there's adventurous things in cuisine and modern culture. So I want something modern. So I wanna bring some synth elements in as well. So that's where I know I'm going with this. First things first is I need to find a tempo. Where am I gonna get my tempo from? Well, this was an easy one. Because I have an opening voiceover. There's a purpose upon us to seek, discover, and learn, explore traditions and cultures while enriching our own. So I started clocking that and I found a tempo at about 90 BPM, which is perfect because with this video shot at 30 frames a second, it allows for the edit to line up really well with musical beats and still have a nice flow to it. So I'm like, bam, 90 BPM. That's where I'm going. So first thing first, tribal. Where am I going tribal? Well, I feel drums. And the first beat that came to mind for me was something like I wanted to feel energy and I wanted to feel suspense. So I pulled up the old trusty Stephen Slate and here's where I landed. All right, that works. What's it need next? Percussion. So thanks to Native Instruments, I found this amazing African loop. Mixed with the drums. Next step, just a little shaker, always helps. Okay, 
So next thing for me was a melody. And I heard, of all things, a piano melody. And I don't even play piano that well. I'm a guitar player. But here's what I heard. So yes, it's a very basic melody, but keep in mind, this is underneath a voiceover, so we don't want to take up too much space. That's also why it's not a big sounding piano. It's kind of thin, but that will make sense the further we get into the layering here. So just in case you were wondering, that piano is the Avid Air Mini Grand. So at this point, our track is this. Okay, so what's next? For me, I'm a guitar player. I've got to get some guitar in there. But not electric, yet. We're going for acoustic. We're going to stick with the rustic theme. So I pick up an acoustic guitar, and I discover where that melody lands. Okay, great. It's a B. I can play this big, beautiful, open B chord. But the serendipitous thing is, my guitar was tuned down a half step. It's actually a B flat. It just happened to be the key that I played that melody in. Sometimes it happens, it's beautiful when it does. So I took that melody, and I thought the A to the B was great. We're setting up, it's tension and release. But that also puts us in a mixolydian mode, which is gonna come in really cool later. So this is what I ended up doing. and so on from there. So we're back in Pro Tools, and what I ended up doing was tracking two acoustic guitars and panning them hard left and hard right. So they sound like this. Okay, now with everything else. Okay, so at this point, we're getting somewhere, but obviously we're missing some low end. So we need to add some bass. Now, I don't want to play electric bass. I think it's going to be too busy. I think it's not the right sound. We're all acoustic sounding at this point. We need a synth element. So I'm going to go for a synth bass. So here's what I came up with. So this is a pretty simple sawtooth bass that I found in a contact library. But it also needs something else in the low-mid range, and my gut was to go for a pad. So the pad that I found was this really cool Umlaut Audio pad, and it sounds like this. So it's got a little bit of motion to it, it's low-mids, it's kind of broad, and it works really well with the bass. It almost sounds like one instrument, except for the attack. Okay, now let's hear everything together. And then that pad triggered something really unique. We knew that each episode was going to have a cold open which means it doesn't just go right into the music and voiceover. There's a moment of DDR doing a stand-up on camera explaining what we're going to experience in the episode. This pad afforded me a great opportunity to set up the music underneath her voiceover. So just using this one note and letting it fade in builds tension that we release as soon as she finishes her line. So this is an A flat, it's the seven, leading to the tonic of the B-flat. At that point, something jumped out to me, and it was the crash symbol here. And to me, it sounded like a burst, like a pshhh. And I thought, oh, that would be cool if I could find something that sounded like 
We'll call it salt and pepper. Just kind of a burst that had some wishy-washy stuff in the high mids. And so I found, again, in a contact library, this patch. And it's just enough to create some motion up in this area. And it sounds kind of cheesy by itself, but in the context of the mix, it just adds this nice texture to it. Okay, so now we have an A section, a shorter B section, and we're returning to the A section with some variation. So we want a little bit more energy here. So I've added some more tom work on the drums. There's some clapping behind them. And now we get to do something fun with the electric guitar. So remember I said this is in B Mixolydian? That allows for this really cool electric guitar riff. How can I resist? And here's the riff. So that's this really great cyclical pattern. It's fun to play. And I think in the context of the track, it adds this really interesting energy. Let's listen. So now we have this long fade out at the end of the track, and that's designed to tuck underneath the first segment of the episode. New music will come in, most likely a voiceover will be there, but you don't want a hard transition. You want a nice smooth crossfade visually and audibly. So at this point in the track, I feel like I'm there and I'm ready to share it, but of course I'm nervous because I don't know what the response is gonna be. So my decision was to send it to a composer friend of mine, Mike, at Fusebox Sound, Oddly enough, I'm in his studio right now. So I sent the track to Mike and I said, what do you think? Am I onto something? Is it working? What does it need? I don't hear back from him for a while and he's usually pretty punctual. I don't hear back, I don't hear back. Then I get an email back from him and it doesn't say anything. It just has an audio file in it. I'm like, what is this? So here's what was in that audio file. <sighs> the dude sent me vocals. Totally unexpected. And it turns out these vocals were the glue that I didn't know this track needed. So let's listen in context. And there it is. I thought the track might have been done before the vocals, but now I know that it is. So at this point in the process, I present it to the rest of the team, and they love it. This is the theme music. This is it. Moving forward. So I'm very proud of that. The most amazing thing for me is that all happened before lunch one day. Now, I'm not saying this to be pompous or arrogant, because as an artist, we know that there's a lot of work that goes into creating things. And sometimes it is work. We're searching for that lyric, we're searching for that sound, we're flipping through patches, and we're digging for that thing that just is a spark of creativity. And sometimes they just arrive and it just works. And this was one of those moments for me. And I'm proud that it's the theme music for 13 episodes of this TV show and more to come. So if you'd like to see the program, I'll put a link in the description. Thank you for watching this, and I hope you enjoy the show. Have a good one.